Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to increase the volume on your videos. Some of the videos, when they get ripped off the DVD and they play on the intertab, they're just so quiet. Uh, here's an example of one of my videos playing at normal volume after being ripped off YouTube. Actually. This is a video about how to convert DVDs over and this to thing, the video format. I got a uh, sound meter application on my phone. And it says that this is reading about uh, encrypted, and so you have to have a program that can decrypt DVDs on the fly, so another program can rip them. Seventy-ish decibels or so. DVD, so uh, pass key. we'll go back here. Now I rip this. I increase the volume on this by uh, touch a video to watch it. Thirty decibels here, twenty decibels, and ten decibels, but to each one just to get some trial runs. The 10 seems about right, 20 is okay, 30 is, it gets so amplified that it, it, it distorts the audio so much. But um, here, I'll try to play this 20 so you can see it. This is a video about how to convert DVDs over to the video format file even, that even the, at this, uh, in a tab can play. Well, it starts, it turns, even at 20 decibels, the thing is starting to distort a lot. So I think what you really want to do Touch is just try to, to uh, increase it by 10 decibels. This is a video about how to convert DVDs over to the video format file that the uh, Inatab can play. It starts, you have to remember it's that reading, DVDs are encrypted. It's reading a little bit louder and it's definitely easier to hear. But I'll show you how you do this. Uh, to get started, you have to download two items to increase the volume. First, you have to download the XVID codec because the PCM actually writes the audio into what's called an XVID codec. And this other program that we're actually actually going to use to increase the volume requires this XVID codec be installed. When you get to this page, you click here and it downloads it, and you have to install that XVID codec program. The other program we need to download is a program called Virtual Dub, and I will put some links to this in my in the comments. But once you have it downloaded, you have to install the XVID codec first. And mine looks like this. That's what it did in Chrome. That's what it looks like when you download it. Install that, and um, then once that's installed, then you can unzip this uh, virtual dub file. And you'll have to get the 64-bit version if you're running 30, if you're running 64, or 32 if you're running 32. Which do you have? Well, you right-click on my computer. Go to properties and it will say it right here, 64-bit operating system. Yours might say 32-bit. We want to make sure you download the right version for virtual dub. Otherwise, it probably won't work. But anyway, once you get it downloaded and you got the codec installed, you double-click on this icon. And what this does, this is actually going to let you encode the, the video again. So to do it, you come over here, file open video and again this won't work if you didn't install the XVID codec it'll give you errors um, here's the one here's the the program or the audio I was doing before here's the uh, original this is what I have after I've already done the conversion with the free make video uh, converter I go ahead and select on that one and this is the one that needs amplified so then it looks like this over on the left side is what you have now and this is what it will be but this uh, virtual dub encrypts or can uh, encode video and audio in two different streams but we don't want to do anything with video so we need to come down here and put uh, direct stream copy we don't want it to touch the video just copy it the audio however we want it to come down here to change it to full processing mode you click it and the menu disappears click on audio again I want to go to volume and this is where you can it allows you to adjust the volume levels. And you want to click on the little radio button like I did there, and you want to drag this meter up about 10 decibels. Right there. And if you go, you can go higher if you want, but the higher you go, the better chance you have to, to distort it. But for safe keep for safety and I don't know, making sure you can actually listen to it without killing your ears or the speakers, just try 10 first and see if it works. Push OK. Now you're ready to actually save the video. So we'll go to File, Save as AVI, and well, here's the default name. I'll just put a put an extra A at the beginning of it, just so it's different named. And then you push Save. This is only about a three or four minute file, 
and so it converts real fast. If you're doing full length movies, it's going to take probably, oh, 10 minutes maybe to convert, and then you have to copy the file back over to your Initab again. But the, uh, the cool thing is it does amplify it by about 10 decibels, and it makes it a lot easier to hear on the Initab. So here are those files that I did. The, the AAA00 at the top is the original, and you can see it's 6 minutes and 39 seconds, and it's 76 uh, meg. And then the other ones, the 10, 20, 30, are the next three. And they go up 93 meg because I changed the audio. And the, the one with the four A's, right there, that one is the one I just made. And it is, again, it's 76 meg. Why is it only 76? I don't know. Sometimes it does it differently than other times, I guess. But anyway, it didn't really change the size much, but it did, it did increase the volume. And even on here, if I play it on this computer, you, you should be able to hear the difference. Here's the original one. This is a video about how to convert DVDs over to the Here's video the format. One. This is a video about how to convert DVDs over to the video format file. That it may be difficult to hear that it actually is, uh, that it's actually getting louder, but it is a lot louder. <laughs> the first, the second one is a lot louder than the first one. Anyway, these, this new file is what will have to be copied over to your in a tab, and it should be ready to play. And uh, you can watch the other video I have to figure out how to copy the videos over to your in a tab. Thanks.